Good afternoon, YouTube. I am just showing you my trailer setup. This is kind of my winter setup because that truck has four wheel drive and I've already gotten the Ranger stuck once in the snow. So here it is. Um, I bought this trailer almost a year ago and then gas prices got real expensive. So went back to the Ranger for a while, but it has one 3,500 pound axle, no trailer brakes at the moment thinking of adding trailer brakes. Um, I've got it set up almost exactly how I have the Ranger set up. I've got all my tools, my power tools down this side. Um, some hangers here, stuff there. Uh, that's what it looks like. Got my extension cord reel there. Power inverter is underneath the deck here in that Rubbermaid tote that I, um, set up with the batteries and everything. Uh, the forge is on a swing out. It fits right under there pretty snug. And then I've got, you know, pads, uh, glue on shoes, um, nails, random stuff underneath there. And uh, it's pretty, pretty handy. I still, it's so hard for me to find a good spot for my anvil stand. Right now I have it, the, the two feet are on the deck and then I have it kind of wired up to a bracket right there. It's a real pain to get it like the bane of my existence is trying to fit an anvil stand in a rig so if anybody has any sweet ideas for an anvil stand in this trailer i would love to hear uh around this side got shoe racks got my drawers um we have this little door right here for extra shoes big and small large and small sizes anyhow it's a pretty simple setup but it's uh it's handy. Got my coffee maker right here. I wired in some extra outlets along the ceiling so I could power my lights as well as the coffee maker. Um, yep. Yep, that's it. Pretty, pretty simple. I have propane tanks on the front of the trailer, so it's super easy to forget to turn those off and just leave them on, which isn't great, but you know, for some reason, if you have to walk around to the front to turn them off, you just forget to do it so they stay on way too much. I did, since I'm gonna put trailer brakes in this, I did wire, on Amazon you can buy these little junction boxes so that you can wire in trailer brakes, but I ran this down this square tube and it's mounted to the frame right under here. Really makes your wiring neat and tidy so it fits in the seven pin connector. And uh, I have a spot under here for trailer brakes that'll just hook right up to the track, so that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, I think that I paid like 3800 bucks for this trailer, which is, I don't know, maybe too much, maybe too little, I don't know. <clears throat> um, so far, I've really appreciated this trailer. I think it was made by some guy in Oregon, as far as I know. Steel, it's, it was just a flatbed trailer, and then he welded on a steel frame. It's real, real solid. It does have a lot of tongue weight since it's set up as it is with the axle really far back, but that means I can stick my anvil and all my heavy stuff right in the back and it doesn't unbalance the trailer too much. I would like to stick someday an extra axle under here that would really stabilize how it pulls. It would be a little less bouncy. It does kind of bounce my stuff around a little bit, but not too bad. And uh, I'd like to put trailer brakes on at least one of the, well, this axle, and then maybe eventually bump the trailer brakes to the front axle if I if I end up putting a, another one on there. Anyhow, that's how I've got my trailer set up. I really enjoy using this. I think I get about 12 miles per gallon combined in this Chevy. It's got the six liter Vortec engine and uh, towing this trailer, I get it's like a brick. You know, there's no aerodynamics at all. It's just like towing a brick down the highway. So I get about 12 miles per gallon towing and uh, the Ranger probably gets average about 20. So I am taking a hit in gas prices, but that's just the way life is. Gas is getting a little cheaper, but uh, anyway, that's what I got going on. Blessings.